Welcome to the Two Minute Prophecy. Uh, today we're going to talk about Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and they are the sons of Noah that uh, survived the flood. And uh, really, what does this have to do with the end times is that uh, through uh, Ham, uh, we get a split, and it, it uh, follows through with Abraham, and Abraham comes through the line of uh, Shem, and we get a big split in the differences in the Arab nations and the Israelites uh, of today. So I want to talk a little bit about Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and then we'll, uh, in the next uh, few days, next week, we'll get into uh, Abraham and Isaac and Ishmael. So uh, through Shem, we get a split. Abraham had Ishmael, Genesis 16, 15. So Hagar gave Abraham a son, and Abraham named him Ishmael. Abraham was 86 years old at the time. And then Isaac in uh, chapter 21, verse 1 through 3. Then the Lord did exactly what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant, and she gave a son to Abraham in his old age. It all happened at the time God had said it would. And Abraham named his son Isaac. So, uh, here we have Ishmael being born first. Fifteen years later, we have Isaac being born. And through Ishmael, we get all of our uh, Arab nations today. And through Isaac, <coughs> we get um, the Jews of today. So, that's uh, through the lineage of Shem, we understand all that, and Ham as well. I want to talk a little bit of, uh, about Ham. Uh, Ham uh, basically made fun of Noah, so Noah cursed him. In Genesis 9, uh, verses 20 to 27, I'll just read a few of these verses here. <clears throat> After the flood, Noah became a farmer and planted a vineyard. One day he became drunk on some wine he had made and lay naked in his tent. Ham, the father of Canaan, saw that his father was naked and went outside and told his brothers. Shem and Japheth took a robe, held it over their shoulders, walked backward into the tent, and covered their father's naked body. As they did this, they looked the other way so they wouldn't see him naked. When Noah woke up from his drunken stupor, he learned what Ham, his youngest son, had done. Then he cursed the descendants of Canaan, the son of Ham. And uh, to this day, these uh, nations are made up of the Hittites, the Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, Hivites, Argites, and so on and so forth. It goes on and on and on. And those are the lands today that are um, uh, indwelt with uh, the Arab people. Um, so, from Ham, we get, to, uh, let's talk about the, the places. We get Cush, which is Egypt and Ethiopia, uh, Babylon and Nineveh and Iraq. Um, we also have Israel and uh, the surrounding Arab nations. Um, the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites, Girgashites, and Sodom and Gomorrah, etc. Uh, we get that in Genesis, um, in Joshua and Deuteronomy, uh, chapters 10, 24, and 7, respectively. Philistines come from that, from uh, the lineage of Mizraim, uh, which comes out of the lineage we were talking about. Um, and these are the people that hate Israel. Uh, they were cursed, and the, the descendants are cursed, and uh, what we have today is a, an issue. And that's not the only reason. The big reason comes from uh, uh, Abraham having Ishmael and Isaac and the split there. So, um, uh, we also have Japheth and Japheth. It's important to mention that from Shem, Ham, and Japheth, the three sons of Noah. Uh, from Japheth, we get uh, Gomer, Magog. Uh, really, we're talking about Russia, Togarma, Tarshish. We're talking about Turkey, uh, Tubal, uh, really we're talking about Greece, and Meshach is uh, also in Greece. Uh, so those are the northern countries, and you can read about all that stuff in Ezekiel 38. So uh, that's what Shem, Ham, and Japheth uh, are important for, and that's your two-minute prophecy.